Next up, we're going to have Jolly. I'm uh, Jolly Bodine, Tom's first wife. I feel like a rock star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, uh, Tom and I met in 1955 when we were both at USC, along with Mike, and um, I, I'd never met anybody like that before. He was amazing. He was a jazz musician with his own band. He was a surfer at, at Malibu when it, before it became a gidget and mass market kind of sport. And um, we um, just sort of, you know, I guess we were each what the other person was looking for. and. It, we were together for 15 years and had Melinda and her daughter, or our other daughter, Michelle. And when Melinda was probably about a month old, uh, to the dismay of our parents, Tom decided he was going to go into the surfboard business and open a surf shop in Ventura and called the Australian Surf Shop. And so he did. And that was, he had been working as an engineer at Douglas, and so he'd learned all of this space age material stuff, and he was ready to put it to use. And so within the first year with the Australian surf shop, he'd invented the polypropylene fin, which he called Traff, which was fart spelled backwards, because that was an example of his humor. And, um, and then that what quickly became the removable fin, and um, I think, Shortly, he took on a partner, uh, a friend from, from college, uh, Carl Pope, and then the Australian surf shop became Maury Pope. So you'll probably see Maury Pope on the board up there. And from then on, they, they went on to do many things and, and make many boards. But one of my favorite memories of Tom is in the 1949 Chevy with a visor that you see in the pictures there. And he's driving down up the coast highway to Malibu. He has his board on the top just with ropes. He has a full drum kit in the back of the car and he's steering with his knees and he's drumming on the steering wheels. And that's who he was. <laughs> Thank you.